and welcome in. I am Miss Kinghorn and we are back here in Twin Creek Zoo. And we're here for a very special video. So we have essentially finished this zoo off and now it is time for our final tour. So here we are. Um, we are here at the entrance. So we are, if I just back up, this is essentially the very start of our zoo with this nice kind of big roundabout kind of way um, that we have going on. So we're going to go and basically follow the zoo as I perceive how or how I want the guests to kind of view this. Um, so yeah, it's quite basic as a figure of eight essentially is what we're going to be doing. But let's get started. So we have the game running. The game's been running for a little while. I do believe we have babies in all of our habitats um, am I a bit high oh, there we go that's a bit better we're now at head height that's fine so this is the entrance kind of area in here we've also got our exit and our shop on that side and our entrance over here um, but we're gonna follow the mass and come in this way so there is no direct walking path through here you have to go in this way or through the shop um, to go out that way so we're gonna flip into here and oh, through all of the masses let's just rise up above them so we've got a couple of education uh, signs here as well uh, just if you are waiting but we're gonna go and grab our tickets up over here um, and then you've obviously got this view here of the dingo which is one of the very first animals that we put in I can't actually see them, they're, oh they're the keeper, um, we'll go and have a look in their proper sort of place, so let's head out into here into what is essentially our main sort of courtyard, yeah let's keep up, let's stay up above everybody else, so we've got this sort of central courtyard area where you can come and chill out, there's also lots of plants and things like that, but uh, we are going to head this way along here so you do have some toilets in there um, and further up if you want but the main viewing for the dingo is through into here so let's go and have a little looky uh, we'll just pop through the glass there we go into here this is our first habitat um, and again I can't see any dingo uh, oh, there, there's one right at the very top. I think that is even a juvenile as well. It's a little one up over there. Alright. Uh, but let's head back. So I have now put all of the uh, education boards in um, as well with all of the right sort of graphics and things like that are in here as well. But, um, I'm getting a bit peckish. Let's go and get something to eat, shall we? So our first um, and only really uh, sort of shop or uh, eatery is the restaurant that we have here. So which is where everybody's going. So it's a little bit busy. <laughs> there was a very long queue to grab some food, but you can also have a look at the kangaroo that are just down here having their own food. We pop through this little bit of a glass barrier. So you can see here we do have some seating just there for them so you've got a nice little viewing area there as well and you can see some koalas in the background but uh, I'm finished with my lunch so let's go and view some of those in a better spot uh, if we swing around down over here now this was a bit of a mistake I've got to be honest this path is way too small for the number of people so if I would <gasps> We have a teeny tiny baby koala. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, if I was doing this again, I would make it a little bit bigger. Um, but it is unfortunately what it is, and um, without changing too much. So this is sort of the back section of the uh, kangaroo and koala habitat. I did originally want to put the uh, wallaby in here as well, but when they first came out, you couldn't mix them all together. So we had to build them in separate, hence why there's 11 and not 10 episodes of this uh, zoo. But you can see they're all walking around and running to get their food in over there. But let's leave them to their lunch and go and have a look 
with my raised point up over here all right back along this little path more seating for the restaurant just here as well which kind of makes this area quite busy uh, we're gonna slowly my way through all of those so in the bottom here you have some staff buildings um just down over here um which were a bit of a necessity to get in there's also some pay machines in down here as well and we do have obviously our elevators or lifts that um oh that is just a head height <laughs> as he's walked through that one um, which are available on the gallery I did link them when we were working on that episode so make sure to go and check those out as well but now we'll pop up to the top section of our zoo uh, but we'll swing back around so we're now on top of the staff buildings and you can see here are the tops of the lifts in here uh, and we also have a good sort of looking point to come down to the habitat. Now I'm not going to be able to pop out this glass because I fear... Oh, no, we've gone up to the roof, okay? <laughs> okay. Um, we have a nice little view down over at the back here. You can also just kind of see some habitats in the background as well. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go back in. No, it appears I'm stuck. Okay, <laughs> typical, uh, let's swing around and come here, right then, take two <laughs> of that bit, always rely on this camera uh, mode into here, so again all of this nice big sort of open space, I feel like this might be an area where they would do like uh, sort of food or you could have like a conference or something in here as well because we do also have these um, exhibition animals so you've got a snake just down in over here I love the fact that these are all kind of different as well um, another little one in there um, oh there's quite a few in here oh dear I've just kind of left them so they've probably just like self-bred. I will come back and have a look through all of them. And then this one which is your beetles in here. Again there are quite a few but all through the masses. Let's rise up. <laughs> Into there. Right then this is where we're going to actually break away from our the order that we actually did things because we're going to swing around this way and take a walk along here so you could sort of see when we were inside this little fence here and the saltwater crocodile which they are just coming towards us nicely up over there we do have a couple of babies i think we only have one or two i think they're in the background there as well just nicely on the surface we'll see them later on but let's come this way and have a look at our wallabies uh, which are nicely in here um, so this was all supposed to be in with the kangaroo and the koalas but they changed it I think about a week after we uh, built this habitat that they could all go in together which was lovely of them uh, but here they are lots of babies hopping around over here in the top sort of stream or creek that we have running through at this zoo so they just bounce straight over the top of right then so we are gonna head up to the staff area up here so through this sort of meshed kind of walkway now this is just all staff up here um, you've also got the hard shelters for a couple of animals as well so oh dear we've got some broken machinery lovely um, in here so we basically had to find somewhere to put the I think there's a keeper hut a quarantine of vets building and I think a staff room up here if I'm not mistaken okay up into here so they're all into there but we've also got some piles of used and clean hay into here and this is the hard shelter for the casa I do believe in there 
but we'll see that from the front. Alright, hopefully among the rest of is going to come and fix those machineries for us. Um, but we're going to go straight on over and have a look. Thank you for your money. <laughs> straight over here into this monster of a build. It took a while, uh, especially with the roofing being as it is. Oh, hello, you're right there. Um, to get this sort of viewing area in. I wanted a covered area as well for this zoo because a lot of it is outside. It's also quite hot. We are based in Australia so it can be quite warm uh, so I wanted a nice area with a area where you can kind of come in get out of the sun but also see some of the animals. There are lots of coolers in here as well so it is cooling for you in here as well but we are going to head out this door and uh, have a look over here at the southern oh because worry maybe not that close though <laughs> let's see so uh, these are one animal that i'm not sure they actually did have babies they seem to be quite difficult oh no there it is just going in the building okay if i zoom in you just see it in there as they plot away there is i think about there's two adults and I think it one baby, possibly two then. Oh, I didn't see that notification. Uh, but coming this way, we have our emus in here. And then down, you can obviously have a look at your crocodiles a bit more in here as well. So you can see they are just about to feed in here. But let's head down. I love the way emus run. Their heads down. Oh, and there is another little baby first in here. So let's watch them all come together to feed. And here. Are they gonna eat or are they just gonna? <laughs> Even the babies do it. They're just that like, heads down and run straight line. I don't know how many um, you can actually get around that feeding tray. This is what, four babies in there at a maximum? Um, they should all run off and grab more food in there. Right then. Coming this way, obviously that is their hard shelter. You've got more viewing of the crocodiles, so you can see them in here. Uh, but over this side, we have our wombats. Um, in their nice little grass and habitat on this side um, in here right and there is one that is coming to say hello oh or goodbye wait Heather <laughs> in here for them alright another big attraction for our animal for our zoo. Alright then, so we're going to head down into here and hope that some of these crocodiles are swimming down into here. Drop down. So yeah, you can see there's one on the top, but they have a really large, sort of detailed, um, there we go, sort of underwater kind of area for them down under here but they are actually they don't dive they sort of just stay on the top which is a bit of a shame but uh you can sort of see them all swimming in there but we're going to come up this ramp on this side so we're going to come back out opposite up the top here oh i don't know where they disappeared to all right then and we're going to head this way over to the platypus area. So this is the land area for the platypus uh, and we'll check out their water system in just a minute. I don't know. I can't see any. Hmm. They might all be swimming. But yeah, this is their top section and obviously in here is their hard shelter as well just to give them a little bit of privacy. And oh, none of the hard shelters actually have viewing 
so they do have private little spaces uh, where they can get away from all the people um, into there as well so we're going to come down this big flight of stairs and uh, swing back around into here I think they're in here diving aren't they looking at the people there's one up on the top is that the only one in here I think it is but yeah they have a really nice um, it, it's quite a small area but it's quite a deep area for them to sort of swim around in and they've got feeders in here um, and they've got other bits and pieces as well so they can spend some time just in here in the water chilling out in there as well but uh, we are so nearly done with the zoo so we're going to come and swing back round on ourselves now these are the only shops we have in here which are merchandise shops and I think we have a water as well I think this one here is water yes so we've got just a memento hats fantastic and obviously the pip shop water as well just because it is again hot so we want people to kind of have a drink chill out and we've got some statues over here which are all mechanical they do occasionally there you go um move around in there which obviously you can purchase from the shop at least that's what i think when we were building this whole area and then you come out here and you are finished it's not the biggest of zoos i've got to be fair um and that was one of the reasons why i actually let's get a good view let's come in over there there we go we can people watch from here uh, that's one of the reasons why i actually chose the australian uh, kind of theme or count to do this farm because i knew there wasn't going to be too many animals to get in and we could stick to a theme and sort of run through it throughout the whole sort of zoo but I think it's come across quite nice. I've got to say, I do like it. Um, and by the number of people in the zoo as well, I think they are enjoying the animals that we have. Uh, I know they're not happy or too good about the sort of conservation of the animals um, because they're not all endangered or things like that. Um, but that's nothing I can do. <laughs> about that one unfortunately and um, that's just the sort of country or count um, that we picked and uh, hopefully in the future we might come back with another zoo and uh, see what they have to offer in there but on that note do you have any ideas uh, any suggestions for future zoos uh, or future content you would like to see me build do let me know um, either in the comments down below or over on Twitter or my Discord anywhere you can find me all of the links are down below as well for that but I would like to know what you think um, have you enjoyed this little series um, we kind of rushed through the last bit because of the new Sims update and the new Sims pack which is where we're going to kind of flip our focus to uh, for the next couple of weeks. Um, I imagine we're going to probably do quite a few sort of videos in that genre, but I do want to come back to Planet Zoo. So what do you want to see? What animals do you want to see? What kind of style? What theme? What, what animals? Things like that. Do let me know because obviously it might just happen. You never know. Um, but for now, I think from Twin Creek Zoo, we shall say farewell. Alright, but you all have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Alright, bye everyone!